In this video, I'll be talking about the different blood groups. Now, there are four different blood groups, blood group A, B, AB, and O. If you want to follow along with me, please feel free to do so by going to page 375, first date, 2012. Now, whenever we think of blood, we think of blood and plasma and all the components that's in it. So, a blood is going to have red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, fibrinogen, electrolytes, oxygen, carbon dioxide. It's going to have clotting factors and many more, right? So, we have to keep that in mind, what, what we think of blood, what we think of plasma, and whether we can differentiate between the two whenever we are thinking of blood groups. Now, in a patient, imagine that this is a patient with blood group A. This is our RBC, and this is blood A. So, because this is blood group A, the antigen is going to be also A, right? That's why the green stuff that you see here um, is going to be antigen A. And the purple thing that is present in the plasma, because everything other than the blood, this is all in the plasma. So in the plasma, we have antibody B. It, why, doesn't it, why doesn't it have antibody A? Because antibody A, it's not going to have antibody A because antibody is self. It's not going to attack self. When it attacks self, that's an autoimmune disease, right? So A is self, B is foreign, kind of like that. The same thing is going to be, is, is going to be in blood group B. Now here you see how I made the whole, this is the antigen. This is going to be antigen B because this is blood group B. And this antibody, this antibody is going to be A. So blood group B is going to be, it's going to have antigen B and antibody A. Blood group A is going to have antigen A, antibody B. Now what's going to happen with uh, someone with, who has blood group AB? What's going to happen to them? So someone who has blood group AB is going to have antigen A, antigen B, What about antibody? It's not going to have not antigen antibody A, not antibody B. None of them are going to be present in blood group A, B. Because both A and B are self. So what are they going to make antibody against? Nothing. So they have no antibodies. And that's why they are called universal recipient. Whatever you give them, because they have no antibodies towards A or antibody towards B, it's not going to attack any of the blood that you give them. That's why they are called universal, uh, universal recipient. They can receive blood group A because, just imagine, if you give them blood group A, what does blood group A have? So imagine that this is your blood group A. Blood group A has antigen A. This also has antigen A. Does it have antibody, antibody A? No, it does not. So is it going to attack our blood group A? Not really. What if you get, uh, what if you give them uh, blood group B? Blood group B is going to have uh, antigen B. Now, does this patient has antibody B? No, it does not. So is it going to attack this uh, blood? No, it's not. So that's why A, B can receive blood from A, blood from B, and obviously from blood group A, B, because, you know, A, B has no antibody. And also, it's, it can receive uh, blood from blood group O as well. But let's talk about O first. So in O, do we have antigen A? No, we do not. Do we have antigen B? No, we do not. Do we have, do we have antibody A? Yes, we do. This is antibody A. Antibody A. Yes, we do have antibody A. What about antibody B? Yes, we do have antibody B. So, in our blood group A, we have both antibody A and antibody B. Now, can you give blood group O to blood group AB? Because blood group AB has both antigen A and an ant antigen B. And blood group O has both antibody A and antibody B. Can you give blood group O to blood group AB? Because this is universal donor and this is universal recipient. So technically, by definition, you should be able to give blood group O to blood group AB. 
But imagine what happens if you give it to them. This antibody is going to come and bind to this antigen, and this antibody B is going to come and bind to this antibody B, antigen B, and there is going to be massive hemolysis. Then why? How is it possible that this is a universal donor? This is a universal donor. Whenever we give blood group O to anyone, we mean packed blood. Okay, Pla packed blood group O, meaning we are removing any antibody from the blood and we're only giving them RBC so that none of the antibodies can attack the other, um, other uh, blood. And since this, not, this does not have any antigen, none of the antibodies from the other blood groups is going to attack this blood group O because it looks so innocent. It does not have any antigen. So that's why we have to understand two terms. There is the whole blood, which contains everything, and then there is the packed blood, which does not contain antibody and certain other, other um, substances.